Today on Face the Nation, a turbulent year comes to an end with more revelations about Russian efforts to help Donald Trump get elected and a big question mark as to what to do about it. Before heading off for a Hawaiian Christmas vacation, President Obama publicly acknowledged what U.S. intelligence has been hinting Good for afternoon. weeks. Not much happens in Russia without Vladimir Putin. Mr. Obama said that he personally told Putin to knock it off and vows to retaliate. But the Obama presidency is coming to an end, and his successor still won't accept that Russia is guilty of tampering with U.S. elections. But President-elect Donald Trump is accepting the thanks of those who voted for him. He finished his thank you tour by paying his respects to supporters in the Deep South. They're saying, as president, he shouldn't be doing rallies, but I think we should, right? We've done everything else the opposite. Is that any way to run a presidency? Henry Kissinger thinks maybe so. We'll talk to the former Secretary of State about how Trump's unpredictable style could be an asset. Donald Trump is a phenomenon that foreign countries haven't seen. Plus, former Obama National Security Advisor Tom Donilon weighs in on the global challenges facing the new president. And author Graham Wood discusses his new book on ISIS. Top Trump aide Kellyanne Conway discusses the transition and we'll have a conversation with writer Ta-Nehisi Coates about Obama's legacy. It's all ahead on Face the Nation.